Hi everyone, it's me, Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast, and a welcome to the channel. I want to welcome each and every one of you, and I want to thank you, thank each of you for taking the time to click on this channel, watch this channel, like and comment, and do all of those YouTubey things. Thank you so much for being here. Now let's get into what is the Fiber Enthusiast Studio about? It is all things fiber arts related and then some. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so basically what we have is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is a tutorial base. Now it could be anything from my own patterns like the Turbulent Skies, which I have back here which is a shawlette. Um, I have the strawberries, and our whipped strawberries, which is right here. There's uh, all kinds of different patterns. The most recent is in the mood for a melody. That is a filet shawl. And um, it was a course of seven videos. There is also a written pattern to that filet shawl in the Ravelry shop. You can check that out in the links down below. Now I will inform you that any channels that I speak of will be linked down below as well. So you can go check them out. Um, also, I have on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do a live spin and chat and I spin yarn and we sit around and chit chat. So that's that. You can come hang out with us there. And then Sunday is a recap. If there are any other types of unboxings or anything like that, it will happen on Friday and Saturday. Because on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, if it isn't one of my patterns, it turns into stitch tutorials, what is it and how does it work, um, spinning demonstrations, weaving demonstrations, different types of things like that. Um, and I have lots to choose from. So you could find knitting, Tunisian crochet, needle tatting, uh, regular crochet, all kinds of different things on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. So with that all being said, let's get into what is Sunday about. Sunday is about what I've been up to over the past week and what's to come or what may be coming up. Um, I have been through an emotional whirlwind roller coaster ride um, since Monday, pretty much after late afternoon, uh, right before farm chores. And I will get into that because that goes into a happy mail segment. <laughs> a very awesome one. But before I get into that, I want to go over some of the other stuff that I've been doing and what all I've been busy trying to get done this past week. Um, I spent a lot of time and lots of no sleeping at night. I finished a uh, diamond painting that I've been working on. It and Rainbow Bunny go to the same little young lady. So here is the Rainbow Bunny with the big floofy tail. <laughs> so these two will be getting shipped off here soon um, to their new home and to a very, very special to me uh, young lady, my granddaughter. So all of these go to my granddaughter. Um, I got a couple other things I got to throw in there, but those are the main things. Uh, so also I did, <laughs> I did something I have not done in crochet. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, Miss Jamie, who is new to our YouTube yarn, yarn uh, community here. Uh, she, Jamie Marie Crafts, I have her link down below as well, and this particular tutorial. Um, she has a crochet along going on, and it is a zodiac cowl, and within that, this time was Aries, and Aries is the ram and has horns, so she decided to do a spiral hot pad. 
Now I have personally never done spiral crochet. I have seen it in many Afghans and many different projects. I just never personally have done it. Now I did change hers just a little bit and it's nothing towards her. It was just me personally. Um, you know how we all are. We kind of do our own thing most of the time. Um, but, uh, at any rate, here is my version of hers. Hers, I will tell you, the secondary color here, or primary color, uh, stops on the halfway point over here, and the second color stops on the halfway point over here. So you kind of have that ram horn effect. Now, I did carry mine to meet up with both colors meet up and then I connected and did a half double crochet round all the way around with two strands held together using both colors. So you can see here both colors. So thank you Jamie for your very easy to follow tutorial, a very nice and um, usable product um, in the outcome of this. Now I used, it is a little bit more wavy than normal uh, because this blue is, I love this cotton, which is a little bit more thin than the Premier Home Cotton, which is this uh, lighter color. So it's a little bit more wavy than uh, what it should be because of that right there. But so anyway, there's that. Now, I also... Um, I'm working on getting the continued part of my series uh, for the mitered squares. I am getting ready to do how to attach square number two, and then we'll do square three and square four. So um, this coming week, we will have how to attach square two in both crochet and knit two separate tutorials. Um, so we gotta got our knitters and our crocheters. Um, also, this week I worked on my cupboard back there. I was digging around trying to find a specific yarn, couldn't find it. The cakes of my scrap leftover hanks or skeins of yarn, things that are left over. Um, I would turn into cakes and stack them up in the cupboards. Well, they were like four deep. And it was getting to the point where I couldn't tell what colors I had and how much of those, those colors I had to work with for tutorials. And I got aggravated. I pulled everything out of the cupboard. I hanked every single one of the cakes and put them on the shelf. Now I can see them. They're all lined up and color coordinated. I can see every single one of them. I can see that there's quite a bit of one or a little bit of another one. And when I pull them out and cake them up to use them, I can run them through my uh, yardage counter that I received, I had purchased from Dreaming Robots, uh, Mr. Maurice. I will link him as well down below, his website down below. Uh, where you can find the yardage counter. And so when I go to cake it up, I can find out how many yards are in that particular color and have a better idea as to what I can make with it. So that was one of my big projects this past week was really get that cupboard organized so that way I could find what I was looking for. <laughs> and I did. Also in doing so, I found some Red Heart with Love. Um, I found four skeins, two of this colorway and two of this colorway. And if you are new here, I do hats and stuff for K&K Crochet for Bumblebee Mountain Outreach, which is their personal outreach program that they run. And they are local to me and their information will also be linked down below. This and the other one, I decided I was going to make a hat and cowl set. So I crocheted a corner to corner and turned it into a cowl. 
and then I knitted just a basic beanie and I have a tutorial on how to do a basic beanie. Um, so here is the basic beanie and it goes with the cowl. So one knit and one crochet. And now I have started working on the second uh, set and that will take care of most of that yarn. I do have some left over from this set as I showed you, I have this left over. So I'll probably do another beanie, maybe even a child size set, depending on what we have here. And depending on what I have left over from this set, we'll see as to how much more I get done on that. So that is some of what I've been working on. The rest of my week has been spent playing with the new tool that I received Monday evening right before farm chores. Um, forgive me, I'm going to try to get through this without getting emotional because I've already done that. Um, three really good friends of mine, very special people to me, got together behind my back and purchased something for me, for the channel. And it's because they knew that I had been saving for it for a long time and trying really hard to purchase this item. It's not cheap and it comes from the Ukraine and then it takes a lo long time to get here because of everything that's going on in the Ukraine. Um, it, it takes a while. So they did this quite a while back, quite a while back and, um, blew me away, blew me away. So this is part of my happy mail segment as part of what I've been up to this week. So you kind of see it sitting back here behind me over, over my shoulder. Three people that I speak of is Sharon loves purple. And I love you, Sharon. Dawn, Aaron, loving hands creations. You're amazing. And thank you so much for, for even putting this together because I know that you were the root, the root cause of this, weren't you? And then my really close best friend, Rachel. Some of you have seen her in my lives. Some of you see her in the chat in the live. Some of you have seen her up on the panel with me. Um, she's a close friend of mine and has been for a little while now. Um, those three are very, very, very special to me. And when this happened, it really was above and beyond anything I could ever do to repay what they have done for me. And I really am appreciative. And I said I wasn't going to do this. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, they already got this out of me. It should not be happening again. <laughs> so anyway, I have been saving for a drum carter for here in the channel for a long time. Um, and just about the time I get to the point where I can, they're either sold out or the money has to go elsewhere and, you know, I can't do it. So when I opened up this huge, heavy box that came and this is what came out of it, a drum carter, y'all. I don't know what to say and I don't know what to, how to, <laughs> I don't, I just, I was lost for words, which is not normally, you know, if you've been around for a while, it's not normal. Um, but this right here is amazing. And I have wanted it for a very, very long time. So thank you guys. Now, I also received one other thing in the mail and give me one second y'all 
Okay. Sorry. I had to regroup a little bit. Um, tank. I love to crochet again down below in the description box. Everybody I talk about their links are down below. Um, she had messaged me and asked me if I could use something and I said, absolutely. And so she sent it over and it is this really cool set of knitting needles. So you guys will see these in upcoming tutorials. Um, because they're shorties and they're a very common size. They're short straight. So when I'm working on something straight, um, just small swatches of something, these will be extremely handy. So thank you tank for these. I greatly appreciate that. Um, thank you so much. So that was the other, uh, little bit of happy mail that I received this week. And now I will get back to what I've been up to this week. Um, this week on the drum carter, I created eight bats. I told you I've been busy. <laughs> and I have been so excited. They created a monster getting me this, this drum carter. I created eight bats. I will show you four in bat form. I will show you one in roving braided. And then I'm going to show you some spun yarn from bats. So, uh, bat and roving. Um, I'm also going to insert a couple of pictures along the way, but we'll start with the roving that turned into a braid. I just braided it. So I'm going to insert a quick video here. So that was me taking it off of the drum carter in roving form so that way I could take and put it into a braid and then spin from that braid. So this stuff, all this stuff we're talking about now is spinning, is fiber uh, blended together, creating a bat or roving for me to spin on the spinning wheel. So. That was one of them. Another one that I did was um, some alpaca. I've had a bunch of alpaca for a long time, and I'm finally down to like two pounds of it or something, uh, maybe a little bit more. But I created a bat and spun it because I was curious as to how well it was going to do, and it did really well. And then I have four bats here I want to show you. Now, I'm not going to open each of them up all the way. I will open one up so you can uh, see what I'm talking about in full. Uh, let me get this one opened up in full here. You see the colors. All right. The more you mess with it, the more, you know, you can end up pulling it apart by accident. But this is a bat. And you spin from the fiber end here. So I'm just going to fold this back up so it doesn't come apart anymore. Um, so that was one. That one was really sparkly. This is another one the same colorway, but does not have all of the sparkle in it like this one does. This one has a lot of sparkle and this one does not. Same color way though. So I will spin these individually separate and ply them together. So one of the singles of the two ply will have a lot of sparkle to it. Now these two, these two have a lot of sparkle, <laughs> but um, you can kind of see it when I move it around. So there's that one. Here's some of the other side of it. There's that one. And then this one, this one is even more full and has a lot more sparkle to it. Here we are. Look at all that sparkle. <laughs> so purples, blacks, blues, grays, those are in these two bats. So that is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We still have two more. 
um, that I did. I spun or I blended a total of eight bats. This is two of them. Now this I did two entirety so that way you could see every bit of it um, from it on the drum carter, which I'll share a picture here. to pulling it off like I showed in the video in roving and then spinning it, which I'll share a couple pictures here. To turning it into a two plied yarn. Now, when you see it on the drum carter, my thought process was um, green for landscape, the gray for those low clouds, the yellow for the sunset, and then the purple for the high clouds, the ones that really get, you know, illuminated uh, when the sun is setting. So I'll open this up, this hank up for you. we are so you can see all those colors and this does have sparkle in it it is the same way one of the bats had sparkle in it and one did not so here we are but that is complete from putting it on the fiber on the blending or on the carter i'm gonna say blending board that's over there hanging on the wall <laughs> um putting it on the drum carter, taking it off, spinning it into singles, plying it together, and turning it into a hank of yarn. So this yarn will now get used, and the purples and blues will get turned into yarn, and that will go to Sharon and Dawn. Now, Rachel, she will get something that is made. She doesn't use yarn, so she will get something that is made from the yarn that I made from using the drum carter. Y'all, I told you it was an emotional roller coaster ride for me this week, and um, I thank you. If you are still here and watching, thank you so much for watching this far. Um, we do have two more segments that come up into our Sunday podcast. One is the Sunday slideshow, which is where you guys get to show your work off with everybody else. So thank you for sharing your work with us. Everybody's just doing an amazing job. You will see um, some whips and some foes in there. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. If you would like to join in on the sl Sunday slideshow, you can come over to Facebook, answer the questions, and come right on in. That's where a lot of them come from, or you can private email me. Absolutely. By all means, you can private email me. Now, if I have missed your picture and you did submit it, please forgive me. We're all humans, and sometimes we make mistakes and miss things. Um, the last segment is for credits, membership credits. I want to show my appreciation and thanks by sharing all of the screenshots from all of the members, whether you were gifted a membership or you purchased your membership. Thank each and every one of you for being here, um, watching my videos, liking, commenting, all that good stuff. You are appreciated, each and every one of you. Um, thank you so much for being a membership of the channel. It allows me to do extra special things like I'm getting ready to do soon. We're getting close, y'all. When I hit 3,000 subscribers, there will be three big giveaways, and I am already stocking up for that. I've got two already fulfilled, and the third one will be closer to that time frame. So I'm excited about that. I'm working towards that 3,000 milestone. Thank you, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me each and every week and through all of my videos, tutorials, patterns, all of that good stuff. 
if you would like to um, join in on the In the Mood for a Melody, you can find all seven videos in a playlist. You can find the written pattern plus graph over in the Ravelry. So thank you very much for being a part of this channel and a part of me, my love and passion for the fiber arts world. Be blessed, be a blessing, and until next time, bye for now, everyone.